Rich life fam, what's going on, man? How y'all feeling? Hope y'all feeling rich, looking rich, feeling great. You know what I'm saying? All right, in the yard, because y'all rich fam. You know, we back with another one. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend what's going on. Tell them to get their ass over here ASAP. And subscribe, because they don't want to miss what's going on. They got to... But they gotta, they gotta stay tuned with the guy. You know what I'm saying? But um, we ain't doing nothing today, man. I just want to talk to y'all, man. While I'm just took my, took my dog outside. I'm about to talk to y'all for a little bit while he out there. He ain't making no noise. But uh, I just had something on my mind about sustaining pain, man. And um. Always, always seeing a, seeing a positive in life and what what could be. You know, you should never look at life for what it is, but but for what it could be. Let that, let that. You know what I'm saying? Because life could be shit right now, but if you change, it could be heaven on earth. If you change, you know what I'm saying? And change is not easy. You know, like like my daddy always say, if something was easy, everybody in the world would be doing it. You know, he he um, he can't quit saying that, but you know it's true. If it was easy, everybody in the fucking world would be doing was was ever easy. You know, I mean they be doing what's easy now, I guess, but it's really hard. You know, working is supposed to be the easy way out, but it's hard. It's fucked. Don't nobody like going to work. But that's the easy route. People don't want to go into entrepreneurship or try to be their own boss because they don't want to sustain the pain, man. They don't want to go through what bosses got to go through to get to the top. Shit's not easy, you know. It ain't easy climbing to the top. It's gonna be a lonely road, a long stressful road. Look at my eyes. I don't know. If, I don't know if y'all can tell or not, but. I haven't been asleep in about 24 hours or more. I'm not even tired. I am. Like, I feel like if I lay down on this bed for about 10 minutes, I'm going to fall asleep. But if I stand up, I can stay up for another 24 hours. That's how I feel right now. I feel like neutral <clears throat> to the world. You know, because I see this every day. I see this every day. You know what I'm saying? I look at my goals and my inspiration every day. Yeah. It's not even about me no more. It's not about me, man. It's about what people's lives I want to change. People's lives I want to impact and give them the best life ever. I want the best life too. Don't doubt that for one second. I want what's best for me. I want the finer things in life. I want the cars, the clothes. The I'm tired of living in this damn attic. Believe me, that's motivation right there. My son hates it coming over here. My son ain't been over here in three months almost. He hates it. He took all his toys with him. He's, he's at his, he don't want to be trapped in this fucking room, in this prison room. And I hate to have to put him through this shit. But it's, it's, this, is, this is all motivation, man, because if I was selling drugs, I wouldn't be in a situation right now. When I was, I wasn't in a situation at at all. You know what I'm saying? But I just got tired of doing things I didn't want to do no more. And things have to slow down for just a, just a, just a small period of time. Just just how I was saying, this ain't this ain't forever. You know, you just got to be be able to sustain the pain. But I wouldn't. Pff, come on now, man. I just don't want to. Put my life on the line for something small like that. Something, something, something petty. Couple ten thousand a month for some drugs, drug money. Twenty, thirty thousand a month. That's cool. People make millions of dollars a month, and they don't gotta carry a gun around. They don't gotta look over their shoulders, worry about the police, worry about haters. I don't wanna go through that shit. 
I don't want to go through that shit no more. I wasn't the biggest street dude in the city. I did enough to not want to be in this motherfucker no more. I, I did enough not to want to be. I seen enough to where I don't want to be in the streets no more. I don't want to sell weed. don't want to sell dope. don't want to do none of that. Y'all got it. Call me whatever you want, bro. I want the money. I want to take care of my entire family. I want to. T I want the best life ever, bro. I don't know what you. I don't know. I don't know what you want. I don't know if you want fame. I'm not here for fame. I'm here to help and inspire and make shit happen for myself. Complete all these damn goals I put on this thing. I want y'all to see me get check marks on every fucking goal I put on this thing. I want y'all to see all the money come in that I'm saying I'm gonna have. I want y'all to see how everything I'm saying come come true because I'm putting into action. I want to, that's why I'm this is why I'm vlogging my life because I want y'all to see that it's possible. I want y'all to see that it's possible, man. I just want y'all to quit doing shit that y'all don't want to do. Like me, I got tired of working. I told my supervisor I'm tired of this shit. I'm tired of doing shit that I don't want to do. I'm tired of coming in here making three fifty a week. Working a whole week and bringing home three hundred and fifty dollars. You can make more than that selling drugs. So working will make a nigga want to sell drugs. But it's different ways to get money. I feel like I'm worth more than three fifty a week. I'm worth way more than that. I don't think I'm wrong for thinking like that. I I know I'm not wrong for thinking like that because there's millionaires out here that bring home a million dollars a day. So why I gotta settle for three hundred fifty dollars? I don't have to, and I won't. Cashes won't either. He's he's never gonna have to work, and I can I can put my life on that. He's never gonna have to work. Cause I hate it. And I don't want to put him through it. I I don't want to be drinking. I I, I don't drink. I've had liquor one time in my whole entire life. I'm 23 years old. I had liquor when I was 17 after prime. Never had it again. I'm tired of smoking my life away, smoking all my stresses away, thinking that's gonna help. Cause soon I get high, I'll be high, feeling good. And all my problems be gone for like 10 minutes, but they come back and then my high go down. Then I'm like, damn. The same shit I was thinking about before I got high, still on my mind. Let me roll up again. And what's that doing to me? I'm dependent on something else to cure me, and that's not gonna help. Only I can cure me. Only I can change my life and get what I want out of. Not no fucking weed. I can't smoke no million dollars in my life about this weed. Smoking this weed ain't gonna give me no money. It's taken from me. It's taking shit from me. You know, I'm taking my conscience away, taking my awareness, taking my money away from me. It it does have its perks, but I don't need to be abusing this shit how I'm abusing it. It's not helping me at all. It's just slowing me down. Eating like a fucking madman. Angry if I don't have it. I'm tired of doing shit I don't want to do. I'm tired of having sex with girls who I don't want to have sex with. Being around negative ass energy all day long. That I don't want to be around. I want to take control of my life, man. I want to take control of my life. So make sure y'all tell a friend like comment subscribe on this page man and follow me tell them to tune in man y'all tune in too because it's about to get crazy on here man you know what i'm saying probably got a lot of doubters out there it's probably gonna look past this i think i'm bullshitting i ain't never lied about nothing anything i wanted anything i ever wanted to do in my life i did it and i'm gonna just do it even bigger now i'm gonna i'm gonna put bigger goals any girl i wanted anything i want to do in high school anything i wanted to any accomplishment, any goals I set, I did that shit. I always been a winner. I'm gonna be a winner. I'm gonna be a winner for the rest of my life. I ain't gonna never lose, ever. I'm I'm just gonna say it now. I'm strong. I'm a god. I'm a winner. I ain't gonna never lose. Y'all gotta fight that too, and I mean it. I wake up every morning and I feel like I won already. Even though I'm in a fucked up situation, that's not really fucked up. I don't think about it as a fucked up situation. I don't like like I don't like it. The situation I'm in, but I but I'm grateful for it because people has doing way worse than me. People that don't got a roof over their head, people that don't got no bed, no couch, you know what I'm saying? People that don't got that shit, people that don't got heaters, people that's doing way worse than me, and the folks that's doing way better than me too. I've had money. I've been flat fucking broke. I'm never going broke again. Broke is in the mind. That's how I was broke physically, because I was broke in the mind. You know what I'm saying? So I gotta get rich in the mind and get rich physically. 
that's how it all works. It's, it's all it's all a mind game. Life's all a mind game, baby. And once you conquer and master the mind, you're gonna win the whole world. Facts. And um whatever you think about, that's what you're gonna get. Whatever you envision in life, that's what you bring. If you envision negativity and bullshit and beef, I'm pretty sure that's what you get. And if somebody envisions positivity and great things, I'm pretty sure that's what they get. So I want y'all to think positive, be positive, be great, think rich. You will be rich. I promise you. You know what I'm saying? And thank y'all for coming. Stay strong, stay focused, stay motivated. Don't do it for you, do it for your family, do it for your son, do it for your daughter, do it for your mom, your dad. Fuck the haters, because they're gonna be gonna always be there, especially if you're doing it big. You're gonna have a lot of that. These little haters you got now ain't nothing. They ain't nothing. All these doubters you got now, they ain't nothing. Wait, wait, wait till you get rich. Wait till you get a bag. Nigga, I hope he fall off, please. Let that nigga fall off, please. But all you got to do is stay positive, stay focused, stay rich. Think rich, think positive. You go stay like that. Because the devil ain't stronger than God. Believe that. Then God wants you to be great. So be great. Be rich. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank y'all. See y'all next one.